Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from chapter 5 of Mr. Ballster's book on EDC. The topic is BJT AC analysis and here we will be discussing example 5.1. So just keep in mind that uh, whenever we are discussing a system, the current entering and the current uh, or the input current is entering the system. Similarly, the output current is also entering the system. And the input voltage is positive at the top and similarly the output voltage is positive at the top. And similarly, the input impedance is looking inward and similarly the output impedance is also looking towards inward. Now the, uh, there are so many models but uh, one of the simplest uh, and the easiest that we will discuss is called the RE transistor model. Now this is a simple model of a transistor. This is the base emitter diode and we have a controlled source for the collector current. But this is uh, not very easy to handle this circuit. It's awkward to work due to the direct connection between input and output. So we have to find a, a different arrangement. But first of all, we replace the diode with a resistance. So this diode is replaced with the resistance. So the circuit will look like this. And this resistance is, uh, we are writing it RE, but actually the resistance in case of a diode is called RD. And the uh, uh, formula for this is RD is 26 millivolt divided by the diode current. Now in this case, we'll call RD as RE. So it will be RE is equal to 26 millivolt divided by this current IE. And now we will draw the RE model, which will be slightly separate. This was this original circuit. This is the RE model. So now we have separated the input and output uh, circuits, and it is easy to handle. But I'll not go into the derivative of this, but uh, uh, now let's just go and discuss. In general, it is desirable to have a large output impedance to avoid loading down uh, the next stage. Now here we have not shown any impedance, but it is desirable to have a large impedance. So the loading with the next step does not, or the next uh, stage does not take place. So the actual circuit will look like this. So we have connected a, a high value resistance here. And this circuit is now the RE model for common emitter transistor configuration. Okay, now coming on to the question for the network, this network, we have to determine these uh, five parameters. We'll do one by one. The first thing, determine the RE. And so we, we have learned uh, that RE is the resistance with the emitter. And the formula we had just known that RE is 26 millivolt divided by current IE. Now, how do we find IE? To find IE, we have to find IB. So IE can be written as beta plus 1 IB. And this is the current IB. So we have to find IB. And IB can be found from this formula. Now, in the same circuit, I'm just adding here VCC, which is 12 volt. This is IB current, and this is VBE. So from this circuit, you can see that IB can be written as VCC minus VBE divided by RB. So this is IB. And plugging in the values, we can calculate IB, and then we'll calculate IE, and then we'll calculate RE. So let's plug in the value. VCC is 12 volt. VBE is always 0 0.7 for the silicon diode. 470 is RB. And so IB is 24.04 micro ampere. And therefore IE is beta plus 1 IB. Now beta is given here, beta is 100 here. So 100 plus 1, 24.04. 
So 2.4 to 8 milli ampere is the emitter current IE and now RE. So plugging in this value of the current RE is 10.71 ohm. So this is part A. Now part 2 says find ZI with RO equal to infinity. So we are assuming that the RO is infinity. Now what we have done that in this circuit in place of this transistor we have put in the equivalent uh, circuit common emitter circuit here. The remaining things uh, is there. Now one thing that whenever we do AC analysis we ground all the DC sources or make all the DC sources zero. So therefore RB will be connected to ground as it is shown here. And similarly, RC will also be connected to ground as it is shown here. And this is the equivalent circuit in. So this will be our circuit now for working. Now if you see from here, this is ZI. And ZI is actually these two in parallel, RB parallel BRE. So let's calculate ZI. RB parallel BRE. We have known RE. We have beta is given and RB is also given. So we can calculate this. So beta RE first, it is 100 into this. So 101 and calculating in parallel, ZI will be 1.07 kilo ohm. Then is part C, calculate Z0 with R0 equal to infinity here again now now we are calculating this one so R0 will play its role here this is the RO multiple uh, pair in parallel with RC will be ZO the output impedance so ZO is RO parallel RC now RO is infinity and RC is 3 kilo so solving this, the answer is 3 kilo. The, the infinity, infinity cancel, so it will be 3 kilo. Okay, and the uh, uh, part D is determine AV, that is the voltage gain with R0 uh, infinity. We know voltage gain is V out over V in. And V out from here, if you look, this is the current. This current is going through this combination of the resistance parallel to create a voltage V naught. But the direction is opposite. This current is going from here down, up. That means it, there should be positive sign at the bottom and negative at the top. But the marked sign is opposite negative at the bottom and positive at the top. Therefore, we have to put a minus sign. So minus beta IB current multiplied by RO and RC in parallel. Now, what is IB from here? You can see IB is beta, uh, VI divided by BRE. So we plug in the value of IB plugging in the value and then solving if you bring VI on this side beta beta gets cancelled so VO over VI is minus RC parallel RO divided by RE and this is our gain AV so the AV will be minus RC over RE now we have just seen that RC parallel RO when RO is infinity will result in RC. So that is why we are writing RC divided by RE, plugging in the values. So the gain is minus 280.11. And now the part E says, repeat C and D, including R0 to be 50 kilo. So earlier we had assumed RO to be uh, infinity. Now we, uh, we have to take it to be 50 kilo. And this is what we had calculated with infinity. This was Z0 and this is AV. Now we'll again calculate for RO 50 kilo. So same formula. 
putting 50 kilo solving z0 is 2.83 kilo instead of 3 kilo so it has reduced and similarly av again ro rc now ro will be using 50 kilo so we'll we have to actually calculate this which we had calculated already here to be 2.83 so 2.83 divided by re so the answer is minus 264.24 as against minus 280 so this is also uh, reduced in the negative sense so i hope you have been able to follow this thank you